Praise the Lord, prayer team. Welcome to our morning prayer and devotion on this Tuesday, December the 19th. I appreciate each one of you so very much and so glad that you're able to join together with us this morning once again. We have some unspoken requests this morning. Terry's youngest sister, Robin Kay, uh, who also has a big decision to make concerning her health. Uh, Venus's daughters, Judy Williams' family, Johnny's family, including his brothers, sisters, and mother. Uh, Jessica O'Hara and her family, Tracy Powers, the Pulliam family, all desiring our prayers. Uh, we want to pray for traveling mercies for Grace and Johnny and others who will be traveling over the holidays, um, my family included among those, and I'm sure many of you have family who are traveling or else you are traveling um, to be with family. And let's remember our military personnel and their families, those serving in our military, sacrifice much in the way of family uh, in order to protect our freedoms. Uh, let's do pray for those who are uh, traveling um, to be with their families and also for those who must be separated due to their uh, military service during this time from their families. Uh, we want to pray for our North American and global missionaries again today. That God's hand of protection would be upon them. Pray for peace in Israel and also for an end to the war in Ukraine. And not only protection for our missionaries, but uh, divine blessing and favor and open doors for ministry uh, for each of their uh, respective uh, cities and nations. Uh, we have many spiritual needs to pray about today. Let's continue to lift up each family uh, on our list. Uh, those who are battling addictions, uh, pray for those who are struggling in their relationship with God. Let's lift up the prodigals, uh, those who are uh, dealing with mental health issues, also needing our prayers, those who are emotionally uh, battling right now and needing a touch from the Lord in that area, uh, those dealing with family problems, let's continue to pray for each of them this morning. Remember those who are in nursing homes, um, we have many uh, who uh, cannot even attend church services and depend upon the ministry of the church going outside the four walls to them. And let's pray for their encouragement today um, and that they will receive the compassion and competent care that they need. Randy Reeves, Pat Wells, Marshall Link, Robbie, Kristen's friend Laura, Cheryl Chance's uncle, Kristen's friend Ann, Meredith, Judy Cookson's granddaughter and great-granddaughter, Robin Tibbs, Cheryl Ogden, Sheila Sadler, Bob and Shirley Perkins, Jessica, Janet, Judy Williams brother, George Tibbs, Doug Seaball, Michelle Clark, and Devin Huff are all in need of a healing touch. Let's pray for those who are dealing with migraine headaches, uh, Chase and Sherry with liver issues. Let's pray for those who suffer from shingles and diabetes, uh, stomach issues. Uh, pray for those with Parkinson's disease, including my dad, my mother-in-law, Kristen's friend Matt, Tim Workman, uh, Marsha's mother-in-law, Vivian, Carmen's dad, Russ, all these uh, continuing to need a miracle uh, in their bodies. Kidney issues are the uh, problem that Dave and Oscar deal with constantly. Pray for Tracy, uh, who has an MS and needs her home to sell so that her daily commute can be shortened. Uh, also pray for Pastor Marty DeLock, Riley March, and Sarah Stroop, all who suffer with MS as well. Uh, pray for Ben Ramey's stepdad, Tom, who has been suffering from memory deterioration over the past year. Pray for those who suffer with dementia, those who have chronic lung diseases, uh, those dealing with um, COVID, flu, RSV, pneumonia, other illnesses that are so prevalent at this time of the year. Uh, we want to pray for those who are dealing with heart problems. Uh, pray for John Sutter, who has had uh, two strokes recently, uh, Kristen's neighbors and her parents uh, needing God's continued touch on them. Uh, we're praying for Kristen's dad having his second cataract surgery. The first one went well and now they're doing the other eye. So pray that everything goes well for him today with that. Jamie Joe needs healing of a broken foot and also 
uh, will be having upcoming, uh, will have, be having knee surgery at some point after the new year. Uh, Eddie Pops uh, is being treated for open hip wound and also needs surgery on his shoulder. Uh, Donna Robinson needs strength in her legs. Renee, Sammy, Sheila, and Chris have mobility issues as well. Let's pray for those who suffer from arthritis and those who are going through physical therapy, uh, those who are in need of relief of pain, whether it be from uh, hip pain, uh, shoulder pain, uh, other joints that are aching. Uh, let's pray for those with fibromyalgia. Uh, many on our list have back problems and hip problems. Let's keep lifting each of them up in our prayers today as well. Uh, Cindy is having back surgery on January the 4th. Lois Link is uh, needing surgery for her back. Let's continue to pray for these. Also, Jessica Lopez um, needing a healing touch. She's been uh, dealing with uh, recent abnormal findings on a mammogram and having further studies. Uh, pray for Darlin, Virginia, as they continue their precautionary chemo pill treatments after being declared cancer-free. This is just simply a preventative measure. Uh, but it takes quite a while to go through the regimen, uh, one to two years. Kristen uh, had tumor removal surgery and came through that. We're believing for complete and miraculous recovery for her. Maisie uh, has a brain tumor. Julia Nelson started chemo recently. Uh, Jordan's been going through chemo. Gladys Sims has adenoid carcinoma. Uh, Jamie Jo's grandfather has lung cancer. And many others on our list today battling cancer, including Ari Bowers, Kristen's friend Betty, Valerie, Daniel Dickinson, Marsha Moore's friend's grandparent, Michelle Strange's sister Cindy, Scott Lucia, Alice Elizabeth, Dwayne Lewis, Claire, Sherry, Dennis Phelps, Heather Milliken, Diane Escher, Cheryl, Amy Dees, Kenny Burns, Rebecca Peterson, Linda Young, Murphy Belgard, Marsha's co-worker's aunt, who started chemo recently, Lynn Lawrence, with bone cancer and has only been given a few months of life expectancy. Uh, Maggie Lowry, a recent addition to our list, uh, battling both cancer, uh, thyroid cancer, and Guillain-Barre syndrome. She has two small children and is in great need of a miracle. Jim Ramey uh, has been diagnosed with multiple myeloma and has many other health problems that he's being treated for currently. We need to pray for continued recovery for Paul Swinney, Brother David Kent, Pastor Chris Dew, Nelda Rutledge, Rose Brown, Arlo, Jasmine, Sharon Burke, Sarah Seaball, Dwayne, Joey, Kelly, Billy Huey, Buddy Randolph, Wayne Owens, and Anthony Sifford. We know God has brought them this far, and we give them all the praise for that, and we praise them in advance for uh, completing the work that is ongoing uh, in them currently. Uh, let's lift up these children today in our prayers. Brantley and Elsie with heart issues. Abel has PKU and autism. Tano with spina bifida. Abram with GNAL1 disorder. Baby G with several health issues. Lorelei, Tucker, and Jenna battling childhood cancer. Bailey May with hearing loss. Tammy Lawson's granddaughter, Emily, suffers from epilepsy. Garland's granddaughter having seizures. Elliot, tested for autism recently, and Stella, a four-year-old child who possibly needs a heart transplant um, after a mysterious illness that uh, ended her up on life support in just a week's time. All these needs we need to uh, take upon our hearts today on behalf of these others who have submitted the request, and we know God is going to hear and is going to answer our prayers this morning. Good morning to each of you, Mom and Dad, Johnny, uh, Kristen, Terry, Pam, Sherman, Marsha, Carmen, uh, Judy, Jamie, Joe. Looks like we have uh, uh, 11 with me this morning as we prepare to uh, pray together here in just a few moments. And um, we want to go to the Word of the Lord, first of all, and go through our devotion. We're taking it this morning from... Psalm 131, a song of degrees of David. Lord, my heart is not haughty, nor mine eyes lofty. Neither do I exercise myself in great matters or in things too high for me. Surely I have behaved and quieted myself 
as a child that is weaned of his mother, my soul is even as a weaned child. Let Israel hope in the Lord from henceforth and forever. There's actually quite a bit that we could dig into in this uh, short chapter. This being a song of ascent, <clears throat> excuse me, it is important for us to notice uh, that in the kingdom of God, the way up is always down. He said, my heart is not haughty. Mine eyes are not lofty. I'm humbling myself. And he goes on to say later on that he has quieted himself. There is a need for us to introduce quiet uh, to our soul. And maybe we find that in different settings for each of us. Uh, different types of atmosphere that help us to calm ourselves and quiet our thoughts and all the hubbub in our lives. Maybe for you, you like to be near water, um, near an ocean or a bubbling stream that, that gives you that quiet uh, feeling and helps you to just kind of empty out the cares of life for a few moments. Others love to gaze at the mountains or uh, spend time in a vast wooded area. Uh, for me, a desert evening is very, very peaceful. Um, for some, it's just sitting and listening to uh, the birds singing their song in the evening. Uh, for others, strangely enough, the buzz of a big city or the bright lights uh, of that city bring peace to them. In this psalm, David has found peace and hope. He has put aside things that might make him too proud or boastful. And he has chosen not to worry himself with things that might frustrate or discourage him. He has taken a quiet moment for his soul to sit with the Father. And you know, God actually commands us to carve out spaces like this where we commit to putting off work and worry and focus fully on worship and rest. And this is the Sabbath principle. Do you observe a, a Sabbath personally? I'd be curious to know that. If yes, what does that look like for you? And if no, I would encourage you to commit to observing a Sabbath on a regular basis. Quiet time. We, are, we were made to uh, rest and recharge in order to continue to be effective. And uh, although we're all carrying tremendous burdens uh, for so many people, at times we need to just set those things down for a few moments. Quiet our soul. Uh, remind ourselves of what's important and just spend uh, some time resting uh, after um, much uh, sleepless nights. I wouldn't say sleepless, but just short nights uh, with so many things going on leading up into the holidays at church. Um, we've had a period of a couple of months where it's just been very, very busy, more busy than usual. And um, last night I felt like I finally caught up on my rest. And I thank God for that. It's very important that we do that. And if we don't, that rest will be forced at some time. And the word of God bears out that uh, truth as well. So sometimes we'll end up with um, sickness flat on our back uh, simply because we pushed ourselves too hard. Just as in uh, the Old Testament when they did not give the land its proper rest, eventually judgment came and God um, took them out of the land so that they would allow it to rest. And so we must allow ourselves the rest that we need and the reset time with God. And if we will do that, then God will continue to help and bless us and enable us to help others. Amen. Let's pray together today. Lord, we come to you today praising your name, thanking you for your blessings, thanking you for the opportunity to serve but also just the opportunity, Lord, to be with you and to spend time in your presence. There's nothing more important than that. Help us today, God, to be content, to quiet our souls, to not continue in the perpetual rat race or on that hamster wheel that just seems like there's no end to activity that sometimes takes us nowhere. But God, we pray that you would guide our decisions, that you would guide our very lives today, that we can be effective for you. Help us to know, God, when to step back and when to, uh, when to uh, take that time of rest on a regular basis. Help us to do it in Jesus' name. We pray, God, you would move in all these needs, these unspoken needs that I've mentioned this morning and those who are 
in need of your traveling mercy. So many of us traveling over the next several days. Keep your hand upon each one, Lord. Hallelujah. Be with our uh, military today, those who are serving us in the branches of the military, our first responders, Lord. So many today are uh, policemen and others uh, who are uh, working to protect us and to help us in crisis. We pray, God, you would be with each of them and those who will spend much time away from their families while we're spending time with family members during this holiday uh, week and uh, the New Year's week coming up. We pray, God, that you would be with our North American and global missionaries and encourage and strengthen them today. In the name of Jesus, let your hand be upon them and your favor, God, let it rest upon them. In the name of Jesus, we pray, God, for believers who are being persecuted in other areas of the world today. We pray for peace in Israel. We pray for an end to the war in Ukraine. And we pray for your hand upon our missionaries in these regions. In the name of Jesus, Lord, in these spiritual and family needs today, we need you, God, to move for each of these, for J.R., for Jennifer and Brenda's family. You see the difficulties that have been experienced there recently. We pray, God, that there would be just your hand that would uh, move in that family today. We pray for Beulah's granddaughter and for Judy's grandson today, for Matt and Mark and their families. So you see Brother Mark's burden for his sons and for their their families today. God, we pray that you'd move, Lord, in these situations. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Restore, God, renew today. We pray for the Biddick family, the Sappingtons, the Robbins, the Pulliams, the Williams family, the Moore family, the Clarks, and the Marlins. God, move in their family situations. Move, Lord, upon the hearts of their unsaved loved ones today and upon the prodigals in Jesus' name. We pray for Donna Joyce and for her family member that needs your protection and salvation. We lift up Marcia and her family. Whatever the situation is that they're dealing with right now, God, we know that you're in control. We lift up Rose Brown today. We pray, Lord, for her family's salvation. We pray for William and Dana, for Frank and Charles, for Dawson and Josh, Allen and Ashley, and others who are struggling with addictions today. We pray, God, for revival in every community. We pray for the safe return of prodigals to the fold. In Jesus' name, we lift up David and Terry today. They need your salvation. Zach needs deliverance from stress and anxiety. We pray, God, for Linda and Ashley. You see their need today. We pray for Annette and Dave and Destiny, for Jenny Perkins' sister, Lisa, in the name of Jesus, reach down, Lord, and touch her mind today. Deliver her, we pray. Hallelujah. We pray for Shirley, God. Deliver her mind from suicidal thoughts. We pray for Jeffrey, Lord, for reconciliation in his family, for healing for his wife. We lift up Brandon today with severe marital issues going on. We pray for our Job Corps students, that you would be with them on their break, Lord, and those that aren't even able to go home on Christmas break, we pray, Lord, for their encouragement and your help for them today. In the name of Jesus, Lord, be with our Mingo RCF residents today. God bless them over this holiday. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord, for what you're doing there. We pray for the Cummins family. We pray for Cheryl's family member who's dealing with a legal situation. Move, we pray, in these needs. Hallelujah. We give you the glory and the honor and the thanks today. We know that you're moving right now. Hallelujah, Lord. Be with those who are in nursing homes today. Lord, touch these that are in need of a touch for their health today. For Michelle and Devin, Doug and George, Janet and Jessica, Judy's brothers, Shirley and Bob Perkins, Sheila Sadler, Cheryl Ogden, Robin Tibbs, Judy Cookson's granddaughter and great-granddaughter. We lift up Kristen's friend, Ann. We pray for Meredith, for Cheryl's uncle, Kristen's friend, Laura. Marshall Link, Robbie, Randy, today, we believe for your touch for each one of them. We pray for Melena and Beth and Marcia, Marcia's co-worker's son, who deal with migraine headaches very often. We pray, God, for healing of liver issues, for Chase and Sherry, for Regina, Bob, and Carol battling shingles, for Grady and Holly, Lola, Natalie, Jr., Becca, Cheney, Rose, Evie, Emily, Michael, Anthony, Steve, Tim, Cindy, Lloyd, Titus, Christian, 
Cheryl, Brother Pulliam, and Jimmy Warren, who are battling diabetes. We believe for complete healing today. Hallelujah for those with stomach problems, Heather and Star, Amber Kay and Savannah, Aubrey and Natalie, Olivia and Michael, Sandra and Wanda. We trust, Lord, in you today for their healing. We pray for those battling Parkinson's disease and those with kidney problems today, those who suffer from MS and dementia and memory loss. We pray for those with chronic lung conditions. We pray for Nancy and for Carolyn, for Gary Lee, and for Kendra, for Robbie. In the name of Jesus, reach down and touch these right now, God. Those that are dealing with COVID, those dealing with uh, the flu and pneumonia, RSV, uh, other respiratory illnesses that are uh, worse at this time of the year. God, we pray, Lord, for your touch for each one of them. We lift up Michael Strain's mother, Jimmy Warren, Don and Betty Causey, Bud Taylor, David Duggar, Patty Arnold, Joyce Fisk, Blaine, Kenny, Kelly B., Brother Mark Morris, Cheryl Lachance, Amy Dees, Holly, Doyle Mitchell, Robin Felver, and Jenny Perkins' father, all battling with heart disease. We lift up John Sutter, believing God for healing and restoration from these strokes that he's had recently. And we believe God for his salvation today. We pray for Kristen's parents and for her neighbors. And we pray for Jamie Joe and for Eddie, for Donna with this need of strength in her legs. Renee, Sammy, Sheila, and Chris with mobility problems. Brother Pulliam, Sister Judy's mom, June, Rose with arthritis pain. Those going through physical therapy today in our local nursing center, we pray your touch upon them and relief of pain for them. For Ann and Diane and Judy, in Jesus' name, Tammy and Jennifer, Terry and Johnny, Brianna, Jenny, Cindy, Britt, Rebecca, Becky, Carolyn, all with back problems today. Lord, we pray for relief of pain for them. We pray for Patty and for Marcia and for Debbie dealing with hip pain today, God. We pray for those having upcoming surgery, Cindy with back surgery in just a couple of weeks, Lois waiting for a surgery date on her back. We pray, God, that your will would be done in these situations. Be with Jessica, Lord, as she's navigating through these issues with her uh, mammogram showing some abnormal findings. We pray, God, that this further testing would be negative for any cancer. We pray for Darlin' Virginia as they go through precautionary treatments today. We pray for Christine as she's needing a miracle in her body. We thank you for bringing her through this tumor removal surgery. We lift up Maisie again today, Lord, with a brain tumor needing your healing touch. And all these who are battling cancer that we've mentioned today, Lord, you are with them. and We know that you are able. Hallelujah. Those who are continuing to recover, uh, each name that we've called out today, Lord, you are with them. Hallelujah. We pray for Christian's uh, dad today as he has his second cataract surgery. We pray that it would go just as well as the first procedure and that his vision would be restored in Jesus' name. Without complication, we declare it today. Hallelujah. Lord, be with these children that we've mentioned today. You see their needs, God. Touch them and raise them up, Lord, as a testimony of your greatness and your power. And for these things, we give you praise, and we give you thanks, and we give you all the glory. Hallelujah. We give you all the credit today for however that you choose to dispense healing. We know that you are the source, and we thank you. We thank you. Hallelujah. We bless your name. You are so worthy of our praise, Lord. You are worthy of all glory today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wonderful Jesus. Wonderful Jesus. Amen. God bless you, prayer team. I look forward to praying with you again tomorrow and then beginning on Thursday. We'll have pre-recorded devotions going through uh, the Christmas um, holiday and throughout next week as I will be uh, out of pocket during that time, and I'm sure many of you will be as well. But let's remain faithful to pray together as we can and uh, stay in the spirit of prayer on behalf of so many of these needs. I'll see you tomorrow morning right here live on Facebook at 7.30 a.m. I hope that each of you can join me uh, during that time. If not, then join us at some other time throughout the day because prayer works anytime, anywhere, 
and we have found this to be true in each of our lives. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you in Jesus' name.